That's all I did. I'd charge and then spam hamstring over and over until they just died. Obviously, you do work, you know, a few other types of things, like you get stunned and whatnot, but generally it was just spam string. Spam string warrior. Oh, back in the day. Okay, my feeding route. Okay, let's see if he does a little bit better with Wraith this time. I like throwing the decoy a little bit early to try and take care of these blitzes. Very good use of skills. And Hunter should be stopping down right now. Five seconds ago. <clears throat> Ooh, going in the caves this time. I'm not sure why he went into the cave and then decided to come back. I feel that that's not a great move. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what that was, Lord Zod. Um, he is going to be able to get away because, again, the hunters are not in the right positions. But they should know that he's in the caves, which means immediately you have two people head over to cover these two exits. And then you have someone over here to cover these two, this exit area. <sighs> So, support all by themselves. There is the tracking dart. Support could get the dome, but support would end up getting killed pretty quickly. Now, run back to your team, run back to your team, run back. Run back! Uh, support's just gonna die. Shield burst! Where's your shield burst? Oh. Nice, nice kind of dodge on, on there. Um, I do feel that that was a very aggressive dome. Um, a good monster should have been able to down that uh, support before anything happened. And there is the medic. Monster decides to go away and go around the back. Looks like just regenerating some things. Uh, looks like he's trying to run out uh, Parnell's uh, Righteous Fury, which is fine. I do like that the hunters are kind of staying together. Oh, and it looks like that the medic is going to get focused here. Everyone kind of grouped up right now. Oh, and then oh, the the plant actually saves the medic from being abducted. That's funny. Okay, so one thing with righteous fury activated on sensual hats. Nice, nice, good amount of damage. Nice spread. Um, support. I'm, I'm really surprised. So I think with a little bit more focus, uh, support should have been down pretty quickly. Um, from there. Uh, I don't think that the Wraith capitalized on uh, Parnell's r or Righteous Fury cooldown a little well. But now he's going to head to the beach. Should be able to evolve, but the problem is, is if you're not ready to evolve uh, with that first dome, most likely you're going to get domed several times at stage 2, and it's going to be a lot harder to get through. Oh my gosh, my voice is killing me. Sorry guys, I have like, I'm getting a cold or something for my kids, and my throat is killing me. <clears throat> I really hope I don't have to call it early. I mean, I might still stream, but I might do stuff that I don't have to talk as much. Because right now I'm just sucking on cough drops like it's no tomorrow. So Monster Rage will evolve, we'll get domed as soon as coming out of. Um, might even be able to do a little bit of damage. Medic and Trapper are kind of close. Now remember, if you know the monster is really close by, there's real no reason to try and do a little bit of damage, uh, because you're most likely just going to be out of position. Oh, and it looks like the monster might get away without a dome. Here's the dome. Monster is going to regen armor. That's fine. The hunters start setting up their defenses. Oh, nice dodge of the abduct. Okay, now come back. Don't chase, don't chase. So whatever you chase, if you ever jetpack towards the monster, chances are you're doing something wrong. Like a high level play, that's fine, because you know what you're doing. But until you get to that stage, uh, you're going to have to spend twice as much fuel just to survive, 
And on top of that, you're going to force most of your team to be out of position. So never jetpack... <coughs> never jetpack um, towards the monster um, if you can avoid it because it's... Unless you're the Assault or Trapper. Those are the only two that I would do that for. Uh, but that, that, that down was 100% because the support decided to chase the monster. He got the Blood Fever. So he could go for the slow hunters, which is actually a pretty good perk for the Wraith. Nice, nice abduct. Get him out of line of sight from the healer. Nice. Be very careful about pouncing with Wraith. Wraith pounces are really hard to land. Wraith has got a very awkward pounce. I like that they're, they regroup pretty well. They might be able to get a dome. dome. Uh, nope, looks like they will miss the dome. So one strike on the hunters. Monster has only two bars of damage. Okay, so the sloth will spawn here in a minute. Dome is ready. Let's see what the monster does. So, so they know that the monster is in this back area. There's no reason to try and be aggressive. Oh, unfortunate abduct miss. I like that they're holding the dome. Oh, but it is. Ah, and they don't have anyone covering the other exit. Monster trapped. Be very careful about that. Oh, that support. Oh, the support's not in. It was the, the salt that threw it. Oh, what's the medic doing? Oh, the medic jumped in on the wrong side. The salt's gonna go down. Pop that shield. Oh, yeah. Most likely, the assault's going to go down here. I want to see those rockets. Everyone's all grouped up. This is actually a really bad place to be, because uh, Warp Blast is just going to eat your team alive. Yeah, the medic, the medic shouldn't have followed the assault. The, uh, the, the, the whole team actually should have gone in where the assault was, uh, and then wait for the monster to come to you. Some really nice good damage from uh, Cabot. And then another strike is about to come down. A little sliver of health and a heavy. Nope. There we go. So two two bars uh, for one more strike on the uh, support. But that does mean that once Cabot is down, Cabot will be out of the picture. Um, getting double strikes against a Paladin Parnell is actually really important. And the reason why is because Paladin Parnell can pick up people off the ground very, very quickly if done right. Okay, so monster ready to evolve. At this point, with two bars, I'd be very, very skeptical about waiting for the evolve, just because um, there's a good chance that, we'll, like, unless you play really well, uh, you're going to go ahead and get down. Uh, and if you do kill Cabot, it's not really going to add any strikes to the team anywhere. Okay, so 
the Prototo Monko might go down. So this is going to be a brand new strength. Oh, Medic is about to go down. Oh, this is actually going really well for the for the monster. Uh, some pretty bad positioning by the hunters. Uh, monster is going to take a tiny bit of damage. I don't know why the the, the support is being extremely aggressive, and you you can't do that as Cabot. Um, I do feel that the, the that Cabot is a lot of the reasons why they're getting a lot of uh, strikes. So that was a really risky play for uh, Zod. Um, not evolving to stage 3. With two bars of health, uh, in the other domes, you are basically getting the same amount of health damage each time, so it would be really risky to try and engage again on stage 2. Especially against the Cabot. Um, unfortunately for the monster, and unfortunately for the hunters, um, the Cabot player is a really extremely aggressive, and is doing a good job of making the hunters split up all their damage. Oh, this is really bad. Oh shit, there goes a crash. Give me a second, everyone. Rip. Rip a Rooney. What is it, Battlefield? <laughs> oh, darn sig, I love you even more now. Is the match over? Yep. Yep. Oh, rip. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and back up real quick and go ahead and rejoin on me, the five of you. Money has it that I bet the the Wraith won because he got the medic down at the very la or the very last part. Well, Parnell can't. Parnell's an assault. But Paladin Parnell, on the other hand. <laughs> cool. Um, I'm assuming that the monster won at the end because I did. I, I got uh, my game crashed right when the medic was about to go down. Is that what happened? Actually, us hundred nope. won this time. Wow, good job, good job on you guys. I thought I thought yeah. that you were in a really bit of a, a pickle at the end. Um, that no, I won. They lied. Yeah, it was it was really close, and then I came in and just did a little sheer burst, and I think that helped finish him off. Nice. Yeah. Um, so, uh, we'll start with Zod. Um, the big thing is, is that your, your, your feeding route, again, just keep on working on your feeding route. Um, you ideally want to have enough evolution that when you get domed, uh, you kind of, you, you did this weird thing where you went into the cave, you killed the two Steemodons, and then you kind of just sat there for a little while. Like, you know, when you're a monster, you just really need to kind of commit one way or the other. Um, and I think that that might have helped you a little bit more. Um, that being the case, though, for the, for... Um, there was that one engagement you did. Um, you came out on top of it. 
Um, uh, it was when you were ready to evolve to stage three, but you decided to engage the hunters. Um, both, you, you did have two strikes on Cabot, so Cabot could have been taken down relatively quickly. But the problem is, is you had two bars of health and you lost four already. You were averaging about two bars of health per engagement. So it was really risky. If you didn't get Cabot down immediately in the dome or in that engagement, there was a good chance that you would have just lost just because of a coin flip type of a thing. Um, so I probably would have gone for the, evolu the evolution at stage three just because you have some really low health uh, and you weren't really getting good strike to health ratios. Um, on top of that, your abducts were pretty on point for the most part. A couple were misses, um, but a couple of them were really good about separating the team and breaking line of sight, but the hunters did a really good job catching up on, in time. Um, I do feel that you are focusing the right person. Cabot is definitely the person you want to focus in that group. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. I, aside from that, uh, I, I think that you probably could have capitalized on... Uh, uh, I keep on calling him Phantom Parnell on Paladin Parnell when his Righteous Fury was ending uh, to focus on him instead uh, or somebody else because that's when he can't really keep somebody up for the most part. Uh, that being the case uh, Hunters did a really good job. I do feel that the support was being very very aggressive especially for being um, someone who's kind of squishy uh, in the form of uh, Cabot. Um, the, I, there were a couple of times when I think there were strikes done because you went and chased the monster uh, instead of just waiting and pulling back and waiting for the monster to come back to you. Um, remember, the trapper and the assault are usually the ones that go after the monster to flush him out, uh, whereas the trap or the support and medic are usually the ones that kind of hang back and things like that. Um, but otherwise, really good job uh, uh, with the hunter team. Uh, you were able to pull out, uh, did a very good job. Uh, your darts were really good. The, mo the monster was marked most of the time. Um, I did like that there were a couple of times where you just waited for the rest of the hunter team to catch up, uh, which was really nice. Like, once you know where the monster is, and if you know he's in a corner, just wait him out. Um, he's either going to, he has, like, the monster has to be the one that makes the decisions and commits. Um, and if he kind of fluffles for a little while, it's giving you a little bit less time or, or more time for your hunters to regenerate their jetpack and get in position uh, and go from there. Uh, the one thing I would say is the, the dome near where the sloth with the attack boat buff comes I feel like that Sledge, uh, she, she was the one who threw down the dome, and all of you, all three of you were outside of the dome. I would have actually had you guys go and follow Sledge and just set up camp on that side of the dome and wait for the monster to come to you. Um, I feel like that because Sledge went all the way around, uh, she took a lot of damage, which forced, because the medic went in on the wrong side, and so there were three of you on the south side, and one of you, were, and, the, and the medic was on the north side, so it took a while for her to get in there, and I think that if a monster was capitalizing and did a bit more focus... Um, that support should have, should have gone down almost immediately just because the, the medic wasn't there in time. Uh, so just be very careful about that um, and enter the domain. Remember, it's always on the hunter's side on the advantage for time, not the monster. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do one more and then we'll switch it up.